There are new details on a story we first told you about two weeks ago. A body discovered inside a trash barrel in a wooded area of Providence near several apartments. Well, now we've learned that death has been ruled a homicide. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is in Providence tonight with more details for us. Shannon, police say the victim has been dead for some time, possibly since May or June, but nobody found his body till two weeks ago. This is the wooded area in Providence where a passerby found a man's body decomposing in a city trash receptacle on September 7th. Police now confirm it's a homicide. I find it, you know, quite, uh, uh, you know, shocking that uh, we find a, uh, a homicide victim here in Ward 6. Uh, it's a pretty well quiet uh, neighborhood. Police say the body was down an embankment off this trail across the street from an apartment complex on Leander Street. I don't know how how he got murdered or anything like that there uh, other than the fact that he was found in the woods in a barrel so therefore somebody had to bring the barrel there. Michael Carrere, the city councilman representing this ward, says the Department of Public Works visits that area every week to clean up illegal dumping. If it was closer to the street, you know, we probably would have found it a lot sooner. Carrere says each city trash bin has a serial number on it linked to a specific address. He hopes that clue leads police to a suspect. It's very, very important that uh, the police try to find who's responsible for this homicide uh, to bring closure to the family and, uh, you know, just uh, solve another case here in the city. Police have not released the victim's identity or cause of death. Carrere says the city should be getting about 55 new police officers next month when they graduate from the academy, which he hopes cuts down on crime in his ward. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.